thank you for meeting with us. We were at the IDS meeting in Cologne in March of 2023, the first time many of us have been here for four years. It's good to be together with people, seeing everyone. Now, since the last time we were here, you've become president of the FDI. Congratulations, although you've been in the role for a while. What is your view on being the first president of FDI from the African continent? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for giving me this uh, opportunity to speak uh, uh, with you. So, as you know, uh, I am uh, in the end of uh, my uh, presidency. Right. But of course, uh, being uh, the first uh, African uh, woman and uh, uh, Arab Arabic woman, it right. was a great privilege and uh, an honor for me. I had uh, a lot of uh, ambitions right. uh, in this uh, mandate. Uh, my uh, my key uh, wheels were. Uh, about uh, education, as you know, I am in the, the field of the education, right. the dean of the faculty. So, for me, uh, educate education is uh, a key um, domain uh, which uh, can uh, bring uh, people the, the tools right. to be uh, uh, in the society, to be right. accepted in the society, and to be, uh, of course, uh, uh, to have uh, a well-being as well. So, uh, my um, my ambitions was, uh, uh, of course, uh, um, educate education for all the dental professionals, uh, in order to bring to to uh, the level. Uh, which uh, is uh, very deserved by the population to keep them uh, aware and uh, knowledge all the new technologies, but right. as well all the basic scientific uh, technique in right. order to serve population. I, I have had as well uh, as ambition to uh, not uh, live in somewhere behind. You know, now you will have been president of the FDI, you will have a platform that you can use going forward to advance important concepts. And we know that there's a direct correlation between good oral care, good oral health care, and health care in general. How can you go about using your platform? What can we do in industry to work with you together to advance the concept that good oral care is good for healthcare mm. in general. Mm. Of course, good oral good oral healthcare is essential yes. to the well-being and uh, to general health. And uh, you know that in FDI we work a lot on that field, yes. mainly uh, to uh, keep uh, all health into non-communicable diseases and to advocate in yes. that way. And with WHO, we do a lot in, in order to, to, to advocate this, uh, this uh, principle. Uh, and we have our vision 2030. Yes. Here, I would like to, uh, to thank uh, Henri Chain for your, your support to our vision 2030, because in our vision 2030, uh, among the, the pillars of this vision, we have uh, a, a pillar where we uh, uh, address uh, the importance of uh, good oral health care to uh, general uh, health care. Yes, so that, that's terrific. And I believe we made, in particular in the last few years, significant progress with the World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. We're now recognizing precisely what you spoke about, the co direct correlation between good health care and, uh, and dentistry. Mm -hmm. And what's next? How do we take this report that they issued? Yeah. Um, maybe you can tell us a bit about that report and what do you do with it? During my mandate, I, I really was lucky because uh, in, in these uh, few months, uh, 
I think that uh, we, lot we, we face yeah, yeah a lot of re right. uh, revolution in uh, in uh, in yes. whole health uh, yes. care and, uh, and uh, with WHO of course we had uh, in 2021 uh, the the resolution on all health uh, on all health and after that this uh, res uh, resolution was uh, right. uh, embedded into a strategic and uh, action plan and then uh, in that field uh, FDI we all uh, the members could uh, work on that and uh, to now we have uh, a voice in yes. the WHO. Well you didn't and have before, now it's there. Exact. And, yes. uh, yeah, we can uh, with all the members uh, uh, advocate in that and yeah. uh, uh, give our input in that yeah. uh, uh, action plan and that resolution. And last last uh, December we were uh, as well uh, invited to uh, to yes. speak to 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 be involved in the launching the right. the the all the, the global status Fantastic. on yeah. all uh, health and it was the the first time I think. With WHO, we, we, did, uh, we did a very, very well. great uh, work. But the FDI worked on that very hard for many years. Yeah. Because, you know, many members, many member countries of the World Health Organization do not always understand the value, but FDI lobbied and got it done. That's why we are really inclusive we know and we 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 feel the difficulties uh, for uh, uh, who uh, faced by our members yes. to uh, advocate about the importance of all health into a uh, general health and right. into into health in in, in general, in general. Yeah. Uh, of course uh, because the priorities on in different countries aren't uh, the, the the same of yeah, uh, so uh, the the all health maybe is the the poor parent of health in right. in some countries. That's why we 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 try to be inclusive and uh, to to give help to our yes. members to give them the tools to find a way how how they can as well uh, uh, be uh, present to advocate right. about all health. So okay. we in. The industry are very excited about the notion of making healthcare dentistry uh, are okay more affordable mm -hmm. and we think some of the breakthroughs in particular in the area of 3d printing mm -hmm. will provide opportunities to make inexpensive dentures crowns bridges um, in the dental office yeah. at very low pricing yeah. so we're very excited about that and we want to work in the developing world to take this technology and advance it. Exactly. The, the, the dentistry uh, uh, make a, a very big step, of course, with, the, with the, uh, digital dentistry and the new technology, we can, uh, we can right. do a lot for our populations. Yes. And hopefully through technology, we'll have further breakthroughs and be able to provide access to ROK to more people. Yeah, I hope as well, because yes. uh, that I think it's our main objective is to make to 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 give uh, affordable and sustainable yes. health care for everyone. Right. Hopefully we'll see you after your presidency advocating for oral care, providing access to every citizen on the planet. I think there's three billion people that have carries in one way or the other. And we have a responsibility, a profession and industry to work together to educate the public on the importance of our okay. Of course, we can do, we cannot uh, do uh, things without your support. And I will confess that I, uh, I cannot do other things than advocacy about uh, Well, we're counting on you. Optimal you are very, for all. the first woman from Africa, you have a big platform to do something for the billion people in Africa. I hope. And thank so, you. thank you, Professor Ben Yaha. I really appreciate you undertaking this interview with us here at the IDS March 2023, the first time the dental community has been together in person since four years, I believe. So, thank you very much. Thanks thank for you, what sir. you're doing for dentistry. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.